Should you bet the other horse? Hello, I'm Shane Thomas from WeekendHandicapper.com. And that's a relevant question this week because as I record this, this is the Tuesday before Derby Day 2015. And all I'm hearing about is how great American Pharaoh is. Whether it's on the news, on the radio, on the street, I'm hearing how wonderful this horse is and these clockers are saying, that, you know, this might be the best horse they've seen in like 50, 60 years to come along. And that might be true. We're going to find out on Derby Day. But there's, in my experience, there's this angle that has been pretty successful and profitable. That is when a super trainer, which is basically a, one of these big name trainers, famous trainers with these huge barns with a lot of horses that win, uh, a good percentage of the time, when super trainers, in this case Bob Baffert, and he's one of the most famous ones, or the, it's well known that sometimes this happens, when a super trainer enters two horses in a race, you got one that's a heavy favorite, probably American Pharaoh, then you got one, you go, you go bet the other one. So if, if a trainer has two horses in a race, you go with the price. More often than not, that one usually wins, and of course you get paid more when that horse wins. Probably, you know, of course the favor's going to win some too, but I would maybe take a chance the other way. And so this year's Derby, you have Bob Baffert, wonderful trainer, super trainer, that has two horses in the race, American Pharaoh and Dortmund. And both of them are great, talented horses. Matter of fact, the whole field this year of Derby is pretty much above average talent, in my opinion. So would it be wise to bet Dortmund instead of American Pharaoh? Or is American Pharaoh one of these special horses that you should throw away that angle I'm talking about, betting the other horse and going with this potentially, as a lot of people are referring to, as this special one-of-a-kind horse, horse for the ages. You know, and it, you get the buzz, you get the hype every year with Derby, but to me, this one seems a little bit unusual. You have so many different people, and especially experts, that really like American Pharaoh. So keep that in mind. Another super trainer, as he tends to do in, in Derby, is Todd Pletcher, and he has multiple entries in this year's Derby. His probably best shot, or this what people say are, are, you know, the most talented horse coming in is Carpe Diem. Now, should you use this angle of betting the other horse because there's materiality, who a lot of people like, very impressive, won the Florida Derby, and that's, that's a heck of a prep race in most years to win, to get you prepared for the Derby. It's a knockout, and Stanford is his other horses. So should you go with his best logical choice, Carpe Diem, or you sh should you try materiality, or should you try It's a Knockout, or Stanford? That's all remains to be seen. Again, this, I hadn't handicapped the past performances are now out the post positions, haven't been drawn. So stay tuned for a future video when I talk about my picks for this year's Derby. But for right now, I just want you to keep in mind, because it might apply to this year's Derby. When a super trainer has two horses or more horses, it might be wise to go with the other horse instead of the favorite horse. And, and just keep on the lookout on the undercard of Derby Day. You might see the same thing. Or when you're playing your local track on a Tuesday, or excuse me, or on a Thursday or Friday, or a Sunday, whenever it is. And if you see this happen, if you see a popular, famous trainer that has these two entries, you might be best served going with the longer odds. It, you'd be amazed how much th this happens. But having said that, the way people are talking, American Pharaoh could be something special 
he certainly had the has the buzz, the hype. So it might be more of a risk than normal going with other horses. But it is the Derby and crazy things happen in the Derby and you need a lot of luck to win the Derby. So until next time, I'm Shane Thomas, Weekend Handicapper. Please subscribe to this video, these videos, my channel. Uh, check out my website, WeekendHandicapper.com. I'm going to be rolling out my Oaks picks, my Derby picks coming up and all the major stake races coming the rest of the year throughout the summer and the fall all the way up to Breeders' Cup. So good luck on the Derby. Love to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know if this angle, the super trainers betting the non-favorite, betting the other horse, has been profitable for you. Until next time, Shane Thomas, Weekend Handicapper. Happy handicapping and smart wagering.